I will be um, doing the social implications of cheerleading. Yes, because I am a cheerleader. So some background. It started in the 1890s, specifically 1898, at the University of Minnesota, and it was an all-male sport. So I'm going to go in chronological order for a bit. Um, before, it was only males allowed, so it was about only 20 or 30 guys in the team in college, and then they were called Yale leaders. And then 40 years later, females were allowed to join in any school. And then there's two perceptions of cheerleading. One side, like the Dallas Cowboys, and all they do is yell, and they look different, and then all stars and college cheerleading, where it's more about stunting and like tumbling and all this other stuff. So the problem with that is that it's not considered a sport or it's not even being recognized. There's a lot of stereotyping and a lot of sexual objectification of women. So the first thing, it's not a sport. A majority claim that it's not a sport because it not meets any requirements to be a sport. But sports consist of physical perform physical performance and psychosocial elements. For physical, there's strength, endurance, and coordination. In soccer, you need a lot of coordination to know where to kick to the next person, and in cheer, you need um, all that strength to lift the person up in coordination of whether to catch a grips in the right moment. Performance, there are a lot of judging criteria, rules, and organizations sports need to meet. So like rules, like in soccer, I guess you can't touch the ball with your hand. And in cheerleading, you can't touch out or not, it'll be considered a penalty. Um, psychosocial is the competitions and contests. Um, for cheerleading, there's a lot of competitions, like worlds where you compete statewide with everyone and other teams. And then for like soccer, again, there's, what is it? I don't know. World Cup. Yeah, like the World Cup. That's like their, I think. And stereotyping, there's a lot of things that girls are sluts for being a cheerleader. You have to be skinny to do it, and almost all the cheerleaders are dumb because of the movies, how they um, how they um, they perceive or they show a blonde girl and they show them how she's dumb. So now everyone's thinking that all the other cheerleaders are dumb because she was dumb. And for gender roles, um, everyone thinks that it's only for girls. But then when they see a guy, they, they immediately think he's gay for doing it. Sexual justification is defined as the act of treating a person as an object for sexual pleasure. Because of this, the, this idea started because the uniforms are too revealing, giving men um, the excuse to sexually harass them because they're short. their shorts are too short or their top is really short, so that it's kind of like they're asking for it, but they're really not. And because of, for some reason, cheerleaders are seen as a sexual icon in porn. I don't know about that, so I don't want to get into it. So my resolution is to make cheerleading an uh, official renowned sport because I'm tired of hearing all these other things saying that, oh, cheerleading is not a sport, so I don't know why you guys are doing it or why the school has it because it's not really a sport or whatever. And to end the stereotypes. And I'm done.